before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. Frankie Edgar wants to fight Conor McGregor, he told ESPN in an interview Edgar states, I told him I want to fight him, I told the UFC I want to fight him. But honestly, I don't think the UFC wants that fight. I don't know whether they don't want it because, they don't want him to lose to me or they don't think they can build it. I don't know what it is. But ultimately, I think it's up to him. I think if he forces it, it could happen. The ball is in his court. He can make the call. Connor, if you want to do this, let's do it, baby. It's a great fight. He's coming off a couple losses, really. He needs a win. Listen, I felt like all the s he's dealing with throwing the phone, hitting the dude. He's gotten a lot of bad press. Come in and fight me, I'm not gonna talk no junk. Get a clean bill of health after me. Maybe it'll bring up his morale in a sense. Maybe that's what he's thinking, I don't know. No matter what it's gonna be a great fight. He's f in gonna sell it. I'm not gonna let him talk too much s. I've gotta say something back. Next, Justin Gaethje comments on a possible rematch between Conor McGregor and Frankie Edgar. Gaethje states on ESPN in an interview, Conor keeps saying he's going to fight but I don't think that's true. But if he doesn't want to fight he's calling out the likes of Frankie Edgar. No disrespect to Frankie Edgar but he's 30 pounds lighter than us and that's a coward move. The man is a coward deep down. I know that, he knows that, some of us know that. And if I fight him I get to show the world that, and that's what he doesn't want. Tony fights once a year, so he is very inconsistent, so there's a very good chance he goes away somehow. I'm there every time whenever they want me to fight. I need 8 to 10 weeks, he said. I've never turned down a fight or pulled out of a fight in my life. And I'm not saying it won't ever happen because injuries do happen. But I am consistent and feel I have earned my shot. Next, Joanna Yendrachik speaks on making weight for UFC Fight Night 161 on Instagram. Did I miss something? Did I miss the weigh-ins today or what? Cause the weigh-ins is on Friday, isn't it? Ariel Helwani responds on Twitter stating, I'm told Joanna Yendrachik had a good workout this AM and does not want the fight to get cancelled. After it was made clear Team Waterson was not interested in a catch weight, JJ has decided to do everything, within reason, to make 116. She'll be at open workout later today. Michelle Waterson, who is fighting Yendrachik, responds to her possibly missing weight. Waterson states in her interview with Andy Whitelaw of Fox Sports Asia, that is something that my management team is working on currently. That's not something I'm focused on. I'm focused on fighting Joanna Saturday. That's my main focus. I hope she is professional enough to make the weight and put on a show for the people who come to watch Saturday, we knew it would be hard for her to make the weight coming from 125 pounds after fighting Valentina Shevchenko, putting muscle on, and not just putting on regular weight, actual muscle. With the extent from how long it's been since she's fought it's going to be rough for her. But we figured if she wanted to have the advantage of being the bigger girl that she would sacrifice and make the weight. Joanna has ever had problems making weight before, so we didn't think it'd be a problem. Now here we are. 
It's not my concern. It's not my concern. I can only worry about what I'm in control of and that's getting my hand raised on Saturday. It depends. I think that's the most frustrating part. Her claim to the UFC is she's the straw weight queen. If you're the straw weight queen then make straw weight weight. It's as simple as that. But yes, I would still fight her. I prepared for her. I don't think Joanna's bones are going to grow any bigger. I knew she was the bigger girl. I've fought bigger girls before. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below of what you thought of the video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for more.